Hey church, this is the eighth and final week in our sermon series, Give Us a King, where the nation of Israel demands a king like the nations around them, and God gives them all that comes with that sinful demand. We've looked at David, we've looked at Saul, we've looked at Solomon, and now we're venturing into the biblical wilderness. Beyond Solomon, not many people venture there, not many people read these passages, uh, but we're going to see kind of the long-term effect of what that demand for a king has on the nation, where the sins of Solomon caused God to reject um, Solomon's kingship, and so from his son, the nation will be torn from 12 united tribes into two tribes and 10 tribes against each other Uh, and so we see that that human kingship ultimately didn't unite but it divided we also get a beautiful look at the faithfulness of God to his promise in spite of human sinfulness and so I think it's going to be a really awesome sermon and I'm hoping that you'll join us but if you want to prepare for that sermon and get the most out of it because this is an unknown passage to a lot of people Go ahead and read uh, 1 Kings 11, start in verses 30, or 26, and read through the end of chapter 12. That's going to give you a well-rounded view of the narrative we're going to talk about, and we just don't have time in the message to just read straight through that whole thing. So if you read that ahead of time, I think you'll be prepped and ready with the context to hear what God has for you in this message. We hope to see you Sunday. Sunday.